<clears throat> okay, so this is an update video. Um, well, things have gone from bad to worse. Allergies, allergies suck. And, um, yeah, it's, it's not been going so well. I don't know how many of you all are monitoring the videos, checking up, even give a shit. Whatever, you know, even if it's just two of you all high, you know, two people that weren't accidental clicks. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it's really hot here and it's humid the time of year in South Africa. So um, with global warming being what it is at the moment and never going to change back, only going to get worse, um, the humidity levels have risen, the heat has risen, and what does that mean for people like myself who suffer from, basically I would call them all allergens that are airborne, nothing good. It means nothing good because it's not just about the pollen and the dander in the air, it is also about the yeast and the mold. Anyway, it's the same thing, but the the um yeah, the airborne version of this is not your friend. Because let me tell you what I'm experiencing. My ears have been slammed shut for over a month. I mean like this world of my own where I'm in this cocoon where I can't really hear anything. I hear muffling here and there, some pictures, some sounds come through. If I'm watching a movie, it has to be with subtitle because the very messed up thing happens that what you're meant to hear, like the dialogue, falls to the background. But the background noises are pulled forward. So the, it, it like enhances the background noises and dulls what's supposed to be the foreground noises. Um, if breathing, what's that? I haven't taken a proper breath of air in quite a while because it's, um, because it's a, yeast, a, a yeast allergy. It's inflamed all the tissues here and in my mouth, in my sinuses, all of it. So all of this, my airway is swollen. It's, a, it's even a problem to swallow water. Um, which, again, it's got... Bad, it does bad things to the breathing. Um, the yeast makes you itch on your skin. And it drives you insane. Insane. So what I did last night, because I haven't slept in like, I would say a week, because it just gets worse and worse and worse. You can go and wash, you can put cream on, you can do whatever you like, try and cover yourself. That kind of defeats the purpose. You see this, the, this here, that's the yeast. And... Um, so what I did was, there's a cream available called Stoppage. I put some in my hands last night, all the early hours of the morning, just like a last ditch effort, hopefully it will work. Uh, put some on my face, and I left it for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I went to the bathroom and with a hot washcloth, I wiped it off, and the itching actually stopped stopped enough for me to be able to fall asleep so that was good that I felt I felt at least a little better rested because the other thing about the the mold allergy is it causes hallucinations so I've experienced this not that long ago and I remember remember what the symptom, symptoms were so a few days ago I said to Nikki I know I'm not losing my mind, but I'm hallucinating. I was starting to see shit behind my eyes. I was starting to see things move that I know aren't there. And I said to her, there is 
mold or yeast or something somewhere and it's it's not in the house it isn't in the house we have scoured this place from top to bottom looking for it cleaning up vacuuming dusting so i looked out the bedroom window and there was a tree stump uh, a palm tree had fallen down and it was directly across my windows and I looked at this and there was just moss all over it I'm like that's the fucker that's the fucker that's making this all hundred times worse so Vicky and Nikki got um, rid of that stump yesterday and I must say the itching has at least improved a little bit breathing and airway and whatnot not so much but the stomach did calm down so at least I'm not dealing with a full-on flare anymore because that was happening as well you know I want your who aren't afflicted with allergies or a IBD or anything like that um, I want you to just imagine the sickest you've ever been in your life and never getting better that's how you're gonna feel for the rest of your life that is my life you guys have a good day now